its molecules apart. For phenol, which forms strong hydrogen bonds, this point is high. 359.6 degrees Fahrenheit. John, what is boiling point? Yes. Compounds for 800. Amyl nitrite is often used to treat this.
Hello. Hello. Hi there. Hi. Who's on? Just you, me, Barbara, and Amber, I guess, so far? Um, I guess. Shut my door here. Hello, Amber. How are you? Hi, how's it going? A lot of submissions uh, this for Amber, considering it's only been like uh, not even two weeks. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that is true. That is true. <clears throat> it's it's really seems like it's really picked up um, in terms of submissions in the last two mm -hmm. months or so. Pen A lot of stuff is picking up. Where are you, Amber? Um, I'm at home. It's um, interesting. We had a house which now our my daughter has purchased. It was built in, uh, you know, the late 1800s, and uh -huh. it had that same kind of molding. Yeah. You know, the, the big panels and then the little narrow ones, like with that, you know, that same kind of trim. Yes. I, which I they were completely ripped out, but it, we. <laughs> So w when was your house built there? Um, I mean, this is an apartment on Fenimore Road. Um, okay. I, I mean, my mom's apartment in the Vernon is about a very similar kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, and it, uh, that was pre-war, I think. Yeah. Like 30s, 20s through 30s. Mm. Very early 30s. She yeah. wants to be bumped up. Yes. Huh, that's weird. She says she didn't get the presenter back. Or she may have came in with indifferent. Thanks. I, yeah, I, didn't, I didn't get the link tonight for some reason. Hmm. It came. It comes from Village Planner, you know, not. Uh, yeah, usually it comes in fine. I didn't get it tonight for some reason. Hey, Athena. Hello. Good, good evening. Could could you could you tell me how you pronounce your last name? Makeish. Makeish. <laughs> That's probably Art something Bill, I should I've heard Bill make efforts each meeting. I've tried. Yeah, I should, I should have asked. Thank and you. And I feel like, that. wait a second, you know, I want to nail this down once and for yeah. all. So the accent's on the first syllable. Makeish. Okay, very good. <laughs> and, and, and while we're at it, Yvonne, do you go by Levin or Levine? Levin. Levin, okay. Levin. Cindy yeah. Lee, I can <laughs> handle. Yeah, that's pretty easy, right? <laughs> Actually, in Spanish, I say Levin. Yeah. Okay? Yes. Levin. I mean, either way, but I don't know. For some reason, when I came here, it became Levin. But Are you from with Spain, your accent is similar. Mm, Sorry? Are you from Spain? No, I'm from Uruguay. <laughs> South America. Oh, okay. Yeah. My husband's but, daughters yeah. are from Peru. <laughs> Aha. Are really? Yes. Okay. So you, <laughs> you speak some some Spanish? Yes, Not... Spang Spanglish. I've tried so many times. Spanglish. I just don't have the ear for it. <laughs> you know. <laughs> and my daughters, um, they're adopted from Peru. They also don't speak Spanish. <laughs> Oh, uh, they don't really. Not really. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, that's strange. That's strange. 
I know, or, it is. You know, like my French teacher would say, because Yvonne is a French first name. Right. I'm not French, but she, she would say Yvonne Levin. 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 Like a, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which is if you separate it is like you know the wine but uh, no it's uh, so mm. yeah it could be actually yeah in Uruguay it's, it's Yvonne Levin could be worse my oh, name is usually oh my pronounced God. Blinzer <laughs> oh Blinzer with the nail yeah well really I think people have me mixed up with the food yes yeah they want to look quickly at it and they just think well. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> All right, yeah, we're at seven thirty-one. Okay, yeah, we should get going now, uh, Amber. Okay, I'm gonna start the proceedings. There's a lot on the agenda. So. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that too. Okay, so <coughs> uh, if we're on. Yes. Okay. Excuse me. Well, welcome everyone to the uh, meeting of the Village of Mamaroneck Board of Architectural Review. Um, this, we have the uh, full board here. Um, so should be no issues with, uh, with that. Um, I'll introduce them to you. There's uh, Andrew Wallowitz, Athena Makish, Cindy Lee, and Yvonne Le Le Levin. <laughs> yeah. Either way. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I, I did better bef before we practiced. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, there, besides the applicants, there may be audience members who may have comments or questions or wish to participate. Um, we'll, I'll try to remember to uh, ask, uh, but in any case, uh, do raise your hand and Amber will try and uh, catch that and incorporate you um, into the, the meeting. Um, and I guess with that, we can get started. Um, first of all are the minutes from the last meeting. Uh, it was a short week, so I know you all didn't have a lot of time, but it, hopefully everybody had a chance to review them. Did anybody have any questions, comments, clarifications, corrections, whatever? No. Nope. No? Okay, may I have a motion to vote on them then? I will make a motion, thank you. Uh, seconds? I second. Uh, any opposed? All right, the meetings are duly approved. And we... Uh, shall move on to a continuation of old business, uh, which would be uh, 169 uh, Maple Avenue. Um, I'll also ask um, if there are anybody who is uh, going to be uh, participating in the, uh, the presentation as opposed to an audience member, somebody who might have questions later, please identify yourself now to Amber so that, uh, you know, we, we make sure that you are included if, if you should uh, have comments on, on the submission. Because um, it's a little hard sometimes to pick up on people raising their hands and things in, in the background. Um, so, uh, so anybody, anybody, anybody who is a principal on uh, 169 Maple Avenue, please uh, join the meeting now. <clears throat> I'm here, but Neil, Neil but Hi, I Neil. can't see you. I see your name. Yep. Yeah. And I'm trying to figure out. There yeah. we go. I can see me. We can see you now. Yep. We Good. see you. Now, one of the questions I had, I wanted to make sure we could just share our screen. So, 
So I may need a little help. I'm... Amber, do you need to uh, allow him to? Or? You should be allowed already uh, to share screen. There should be a green button on the bottom that says share screen. Share the screen. And when you click on that, you should just click on the screen that you wish to share. And that should mirror your computer screen and then you can click on which things you want to share. Right. All right. Let's try it. By the way, is uh, are the Tuckers here? Last time they uh, they did they joined uh, later in the meeting. I just wanted to make sure that they were here, that they were signed on now. Well, I just talked with um, Mrs. Tucker, and she should be on. Yes, we have a friend, Tucker. Okay, could you put her on then as well, so we don't have the. Situation? It's on. Oh, and yeah, that, we don't want people kind of trying to join later when, you know, mm -hmm. as we had that issue with it before. I think you may be on mute, friends. We cannot hear you. Can you see me? Yes. We can see, we can see and hear you, Neil. She Good. was talking to uh, France, but we don't necessarily have to hear from France unless she had something to say. But. All right. Okay. Well, to start with, the <laughs> You didn't, um, you drew our attention to the roof line. And I took a second look at the roof line. I couldn't agree more. So what we did was just to truncate the roof. So the roof extends from the existing roof here, outward. And you can see the extension here. Mm -hmm. So instead of coming all the way up to mm -hmm. this um, structure, which is a dormer, we truncated it, brought it down, and left this portion of the deck open. Then, as far as the footings were concerned, we made sure all of the footings lined up and still provided us with the necessary support. Now, these were the two areas specifically that you mentioned in your comments. Now, if you have any questions, I'll be glad to answer them. Okay. Um, I I, I looked at it before. I, I see what you've done. I, I guess the only question I might have is I'm, I'm curious why the number of footings changed. Uh, you know, there's, there seems to be a couple less. Was, was that a recalculation based on not having the roof or how did you come to determine that the footings would change? Well, we changed the footings only to support this is the area here, and we lined up the footings so that um, some of the footings may mask visually what um, were there previously. As it turns out, all the footings that are on the revised version were on the original version, but they lined up. So currently we have footings, whoops. Part of the area is masked by the, by the um, visuals. We have three mm -hmm. footings here, three here, and three here. And we have two additional footings here. So that provides us with adequate support for the entire deck. Then I have ledgers up against the building itself here and here. That will provide us with the support we need 
for the entire deck. All the footings, I should say, the columns on the footings are six by six pressure treated lumber. So that provide, should provide us with all of the support. There are three footings here. There are three footings here. And then there are one, two, three, four footings here on the out portion of the deck. So I think mm -hmm. we're providing the necessary support for the deck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you reviewed the roof. I, I noticed that it doesn't cover the, uh, the staircase. No. It got a little shorter, yeah. Actually, one of the things we found out if you put the grill, the outdoor grill here, huh. if I had extended the roof line up, it would have trapped the smoke. So in truncating the roof, we actually um, uh, freed up the movement of air so it doesn't get trapped underneath yeah. the roof. Yeah, yeah, that, that's clear now. Now, what I was saying is also uh, that um, the stairway was covered by the roof, which now is not, right? Correct? Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think um, we have a cleaner look to the deck mm -hmm. and yeah. the roof as opposed to what it was originally. Certainly mm -hmm. a lot less uh, difficult uh, situations of things meeting, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, do any of the other uh, board members, any other board members, or maybe Yvonne is more, anybody have any other questions or comments? No, it all makes sense now. Okay. No. Right. And okay. the footings do look better. I remember that we were concerned that they were kind of ill mm -hmm. placed before yeah. so they look better yeah they were all over the place right right, right. Mm -hmm. yeah it's more organized now yes okay so very good all for the better i suppose then um yeah looks good are there any uh audience members or anyone else wishing to comment or, or say anything amber um if you do and you raise your hand you will be promoted to speak I do not see anyone who wishes to speak. Okay. Uh, there being no further questions or comments, I guess then, does somebody want to make a, a motion to, to vote on this then? I make a motion. Okay. And I second. Andrew, Andrew did. Okay. Any opposed? No. Okay, Neil, thank you for coming back. Uh, it looks like it was it, it worked out well and, and everyone is uh, pleased with how it came out. So felt too bad about the additional couple of weeks, but hopefully that doesn't hurt you too much and you can get going and it'll work, work out well. Mm -hmm. And so right. we'll, thank you we'll for uh, thank you. your time. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. All right, then the next uh, application is uh, 355 Phillips Park Road. If you could raise your hand if you are part of the application team. Thank you. Okay. Good evening, Mr. Chairman, members of the board. How are you? Well, thank you. Hello. Hello. Uh, we're uh, Bob Stanziel, architect for 355 Phillips. Uh, Dominic Pressure, I think, is also on the line here tonight. So uh, we've, um, we're have we well in construction, into construction on a project, and we're looking to make some uh, facade changes with, uh, with respect to some finishes. I just want to uh, share my screen here. 
please. Okay. Can you see my screen at all or no? No, we just Not yet. see no. you. Yeah. Okay. Can you see me? Yes. <laughs> okay. I see you. All right. Uh, okay. Can you see that? Yes. There we yes. Are. Right. yes. So that's uh, where we are right now. We're under construction and um, we've um, certainly made some progress with respect to trying to get to my uh, tabs down here. Certainly made progress with respect to construction. Uh, this was our original uh, proposal uh, that we have for the building, uh, which was uh, primarily uh, the lower level. It was going to be all uh, precast concrete, which it still is. So the picture up, just just so we're on the same page, is a picture of the construction in progress. So it's like, oh. you know, exposed uh, cinder block and, and trivic and stuff like that. Right. So let me... Uh, Let me share again here. I'm sorry about this. Ay, ay, ay. I'll get there. Give me a second. <laughs> Trying to get back to the meeting. <clears throat> uh, can you see this photo, this rendering, or? It's maybe loading. It's uh, okay. I can't see it yet anyway. All right. Give me one second here. <clears throat> ay, ay, ay. Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought I had this by now, you know, I, uh, <laughs> after all these months, mm -hmm. trying, to, trying to get this done. Is that, a, can you see that photo that I just put up or no? It's the same photo of a construction. Same photo. All right. Let me get, let me get back here. Um, did you share the screen? Um, did you share one screen or did you share your entire computer screen? I thought I shared the entire screen, but uh, you never know. Well, what is what is it that you would like us to be looking at? We see what we're doing, I think I submitted some plans as well. We're trying to uh, make, now make a blend of uh, some additional stucco and brick on the building. Mm -hmm. uh, it should be in your package, uh, the elevations that I submitted. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So... We're just trying to break it up. The building across the street. Can is, we can we get those up on the screen somehow though? Because there might be other people in the audience who need to see them and so forth. Um, yep. If you can't do it, maybe Amber or somebody else uh, could pull them up for you. Oops. Not very smooth. Uh, sorry about that. This is the photo that we have, side elevation. Yeah. Yes, right. I think we need something like a rendering. I think you're looking for the front elevation, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to get to. So you sent at 5 p.m. today some updated documents. Right, Amber, yeah. I don't think those were the correct ones, though, quite honestly. That, there's some that was the original. Uh-huh. Yeah. Correct, yes, yeah. Right. Uh, so we're just trying to, um, oh my gosh, sorry about this. Is this the revised or the original? That's the original one with all the brick. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so you're doing your minimizing the brick, I guess, right? Yes, that's what we're doing, and I'm still trying to get there, and I apologize. Okay. How about down here, these ones, maybe? I think well, if you that's open... the building across the street. Right. Well, yeah. How about that one? That one. Front elevation, Phillips. Is that the one? I don't know. Uh, that's no. just, just the structure. That's the photo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. It must be. What about front elevation, Phillips Park? Yeah, I, I did have an architectural drawing I submitted as well that was uh, 
it shows the difference. You should have that one, Amber, I'm not sure. You did. We don't know which one it is. Uh, the is next one. Everything we have. Yeah. What about front elevation? It's not, it's a photo also, not a drawing. No. Oh, yeah, so it's the same. Same thing. All right. Really cool. Give me a minute to, uh, to reconvene here. I'm <laughs> trying to get this going. Okay. What well, do you want to try to get it together and we'll put you toward the end? Um, yes, that'd be great. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. We just, we should right, have then. Okay. Oh, wait. Wait. I got it. I think. No. Okay. Nope. I don't. Okay. Right. Never mind. Okay. Okay. Well, good. <laughs> Sorry. Time. We, got, we got several others to go through. We'll come okay. back and then. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so let's move on then uh, to uh, 517 uh, Walnut Street. Uh, there it is, applicants here. Sorry, the screen is just taking some time to load. Okay, we've got the applicant promoting to panelist. Jeremy? Yes. Okay, I'm going to share mm -hmm. my screen. Yes. Let's see. Okay, see the screen? Yes. Perfect. Thank you. Now, uh, uh, could I just could you just uh, introduce yourself? Yes. I'm um, Sid Schloman, the architect for the owner of 517 Walnut. And are the owners here as well? They are not. Okay. The application before you is currently there's an ongoing interior alteration project um, and the owner we are proposing some exterior changes to i'll go over in detail the main structural changes are that on the west side or the north side of the building there is a stoop and some stairs with a door and we're going to remove that because it will no longer be necessary. And then on the, I guess it's the south side, there's an existing kind of a shanty carport from the previous owners that we're going to remove. And then uh, we are going to change colors and windows of the facade. So I'll go through that. Um, here are the existing elevations and photos of the house. Let me just, zoom in a little bit so you can see it's kind of a brick and brown roof and this old kind of plastic uh kind of faux shake siding and this kind of roof structure over the carport uh, on the entrance of the garage um, we will be leaving this stone on the entry door. We'll be leaving the brick, although painting it, and then the windows and roof will change color. You can see kind of the existing conditions here of this type of siding. And um, let me just go through it. And our proposed uh, elevations will be kind of a white and black theme where we are painting the brick white and putting on um, hardy plank as an arctic white, a charcoal, dark charcoal gray roof, uh, keeping the stone as it is, removing the carport completely and putting in a black uh, garage door. The windows are um, a Marvin Elevate series where it'll be like a four over one double hung. So we'll keep the bottom pane kind of uh, clear. And we feel this is just a nice, definitely an improvement to the house and a nice elegant touch to the house, keeping some of the existing features. 
Um, and let me just see what else we have here. Oh, here are just some neighboring houses for context. Uh, these are all houses on Walnut or just on the corner. So, you know, different massing, different colors, different types, some cottage style, uh, some Tudor style, some siding and shingles, some much larger. So definitely within the context. The hardy planking is, the color is actually Arctic, Arctic white. Um, here's just a, some, the brochure of the siding. The, you can't see it's white on white, the color. Um, mm -hmm. The window is this uh, Elevate, Marvin Elevate double hung. So this is the grill preference that we're going with. And, and some of the different sizes here. So I'll just go back to, to this one just to show the changes. And that's kind of it. Like, no, we're not changing the roof line at all or any uh, massing or any addition. It's all just mainly uh, within the existing facades. Okay. All right, thank you. Hopefully the owners buy a white car with black trim. <laughs> <laughs> it's already there. <laughs> I don't know if they have the Porsche, but okay. <laughs> uh, okay, well, that looks looks nice. Uh, do any of uh, the board members have any questions or comments? I think it looks really nice. I think it is a major improvement. I appreciate how concise and well thought out your presentation was. I do not have questions. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, it looks looks fairly straightforward. I think uh, mm -hmm. yeah, it looks nice. Um, okay. Yeah. yeah. I think it's a good unification of the brick and the side. Yeah. Ties it yeah. together well. Okay. Are there? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I would second that. I think it keeps it nice and quaint too. Um, and uh, you know the that area based on your pictures and just my knowledge has a lot of different. Is and I, um, I think this does a good job of changing without changing too much. Too much, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's that's already a renovation, right? That the whole second floor in the back, right? Well, the interior is currently being renovated. No, that's not what I meant. I mean, oh. is that the original structure of the house, like that, the back half having completely different roof line than the front section? Well, the back half. This is actually the back of the garage. So I don't know the history of that, if it was added at some point or not, but this back shallow uh, pitch shed roof is the back of this garage here that you see you in know. the front. No, I, I'm talking about the whole mass of the house. Has a different roof line than the, than the front. Oh, I, 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 th yeah. I mean, the rooms were all there and like ceiling, molding, doors all looked original, I oh, think. Yeah? That's the way it was. Right? Yeah. Kind of, kind, of, kind of interesting how that went together but yeah but probably it was mm -hmm. they, they might have yeah. they might have built like a you know kind of a wood siding house and put a brick showy little facade piece so yeah. the front, that, that maybe the front was added yeah yeah, yeah. That, that's what i was wondering yeah, yeah. anyway mm. okay I'm, yeah. I'm good okay are there any yeah mm -hmm. any, any uh, audience members that want to uh comment amber I do not see anyone who indicates that they wish to speak. Okay. Okay. Assuming nobody else on the board has anything further, then do you want to uh, make a motion to vote? I'll make a motion. Okay. I second. Any opposed? Okay. Very good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good mm -hmm. night. And, uh, Thank you. Looks nice. Appreciate the attractive presentation. Thanks. Okay. And I guess we'll go on to 519 Waverly.
evening. Good Hello. Evening. Good evening, panel. Good evening. Hi, I'm Mr. Clark. I'm doing the sign for uh, 519 uh, Waverly. And uh, I'm sorry, could you introduce yourself? I, did, I couldn't quite hear you. So my name is Mr. Clark. I'm doing the sign for 519 Waverly. Okay. Waverly Avenue. And I'll ask you also, are the, are the owners here well as well, or are you representing them? No, I asked them to come, they, 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 they choose not to. So. That's fine. I just, I just want to know who's I here. Understand. That's all. Okay. That's fine. Look it up. Um, you're looking for me to upload anything. I really don't got nothing. I just have a sample of the letter of what's going on in the building. I, I think um, Amber has the drawings, if that's, Okay, yeah, future, future reference, it's good if you could share the screen that has the images of what you have so that other people can see it. I think we'll be able to share it on your behalf. But if, but, you know, if you come again, if, if you could have those uh, ready to share. Well, I didn't, I, you know, I didn't know that's how we had to do it. I'd have known that. I definitely would have, I definitely would have had it for you. We, I think we can cover it. Yep, we got it. We got it? We'll get it. Thank you. Here you go. Okay. Thank you. Okay. And now you have, um, Mr. Clark, you have a sample there? Yeah, this is the sample of the A. Mm -hmm. It has studs in the back. We actually put a stencil on the property and the stencil has all the markings on where the studs go. Mm -hmm. And we'll just insert the letters with silicone. There are about five inch studs. And um, that will hold the letters onto the property. Um, it's like a inch and a half molding, uh, which is plastic. And there's an acrylic face. So that's what it's going to look like. Mm -hmm. Let's see. OK. Let's see if I got the stud. This is actually a stud. You can see that? Yep. That's what's actually inside the letter here that's holding it in place. And um, that's basically it. That's how this is pretty simple. And it's not illuminated, so it's pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. I think yes. there was also, uh, who's who's sharing the screen? Is it Amber or, or uh, Andrew or? That's Amber. Okay, is there, I think there was a picture that showed the context as well. Um, Yeah, I guess that's it. So just so we can see what the, you know, the area looks like. Yeah, that's the building to the left. Yeah. They seem to have no lettering. Okay. Mm -hmm. But um, this is actually the same um, uh, style and branding of the company. It's all on his business cards as well. So we're just trying to keep follow suit with what um, okay. the owner is requesting. So. Okay. Well, wow. I think I think it's a, it's not a it's a nice look. I I, I think personally. But, uh, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I don't know what the other board. It is. It's a beautiful. Hand. That was my view. The <laughs> building's also gray, so with the black, I think it's a good contrast. So. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Things that are really good. And it, and it works well with the siding. It doesn't leave. It sure does. Way. It really does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Color wise, it's all nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yep. Well, does anybody have any questions or comments then? No, I like it. Yeah. Yep. Thank yeah. you. Thank you so much. I think it works. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Is there, actually, I have one question, which is the car. Is that relief just like the letters? Yes, it is. Yes. Oh, okay. It's going to be just like is the that a, So that's a, are the letters that's a custom a creation or is the car custom creation? Yes. Everything. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. All right. Mm -hmm. So we'll project from the facade. Yeah. Okay. And give yeah. a little shadow. Okay. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Has like a uh, inch and a half, uh -huh. two inches. That right. comes out, which is out. So it gives that's a real cool. nice look. Yeah. yeah. Then it will thing with it, you know, because I really wanted to show some kind of depth, you know. Mm -hmm. So yeah. That was the purpose behind it. Okay. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you so much. Are there Thank any you. questions from the audience, Amber? 
questions, comments? I did not see anyone who wishes to speak. Okay. Okay, so um, if there's not any more questions or comments from the board, then I guess we'll take a motion to vote on it. A motion. Second. Anybody opposed? No. All right. Thank you, Mr. Oh. Clark. You're good to go then. Thank you, guys. Okay. Good, luck you. Jet. good luck with those jets. Good luck with those jets. Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> sure, definitely. I'm, I'm praying for them, man. <laughs> Long time coming, 50 years. I don't even remind me. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to go down with them, trust me. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. All right. All right. Thank All right. you. Good luck. Right. Have a good night. <clears throat> bye bye. All right. Um, so, um, 716 Orienta Avenue. Okay. And we did just receive, I just received an email with updated documents from uh, oh. We didn't see that. From the first guy? The second. Yeah, I mean, I meant the, well, yeah, the, yeah. Guy, the first non continuing yeah, one. Yeah. <laughs> Phil Sparkle. Actually, that's a continuation too, though. Yeah, it is in a way. Yeah. I'm so sorry. My Zoom just cut out for a moment, and everyone froze. Um, we're we're looking at 716 Orienta. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Oh, let's go ahead. Can you hear me? Yes. I don't know why you can't see me though, unless you can see me, and I just can't. We just see your name. Oh, wait, here we go. Start video. Now there we, we go. Hello. go. Hello, everyone. You look uh, just like your name. Morris Hello. Morris Katz. <laughs> <laughs> okay. As, and Mr. Katz, uh, you, you, could you introduce yourself? Are you uh, the yes, owner or architect or what? I'm the, uh, I'm the agent. Okay. Uh, for the homeowner. Okay. And are there any other... Uh, Parties of the applicant here, or are you representing? I'm representing. Okay, very good. Oh, so I'm sorry. I uh, I was waiting for a question, but uh, I suppose yeah. you want me to launch into what we're doing. Yeah, no, I was. I just wanted to to see who meet you. Uh, okay, so uh, can you see the photo? I only see you. No, you should be clicking the share screen button at the bottom of the at the bottom of the screen. It should be in green. Share screen. Okay. Okay. Now, can you see it? It says it started right. screen sharing, but it hasn't loaded. Now it's loaded, and we can okay. see it. Just okay. photograph of the rear of the house. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Got so it. what we're doing um, is we are extending the deck from here over to the railing um, and we are removing these stairs and the railing here. And we're going to make this a continuous um, open, open deck with two steps. So let me find a picture for you. Okay, so this is, this is the part we're adding right here. Mm. Hasn't moved yet, that. hasn't moved yet. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you, are you, is the drawing up? No, it's still the photograph. Okay. Um, I just have a drawing on my screen right now. You may, you may need to unshare and reshare that. Okay. Um, Here you go. Ah, we didn't have that. Yeah, I don't remember seeing that, but this is good no. to see. Can you can you make that larger though? Uh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Okay, so so what we're doing is we're adding this area here, 
um, right here and here, we're just adding a rectangle uh, to the deck, same materials, and we're adding this small pergola. Uh, I can mm -hmm. show you some drawings. Is the uh, is the drawing up now? The, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. So you see the existing deck here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is this is all we're adding here: sixteen eight by um, eleven foot six. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be self-supporting bigfoots. Uh, we're supporting the four corners here. And um, we have our, our pergola is, you know, just a very small mini pergola, if you will. Um, it's going to be uh, matching the uh, finishes of the existing deck as far as this is treks. Um, and then the, uh, the rafters and purlins, uh, those are going to be all painted to match the house. So we're not introducing any new finishes or any new material. Mm -hmm. Now that section is kind of a generic, right? It's not, it's not specific. The section one, I got confused when I was looking at that. Uh, this that's, one, that's the pergola, right? Yeah, this is, well here, this shows the deck and the pergola. And just, yeah, but I mean, where are those stairs? I um, didn't see that. It, it's, not to, it, it's not to scale, it's just showing um, the 11 inch treads, the eight inch rise. Here's the stairs. Right here. There's okay, so it's generic. Okay. It's a generic detail. Yeah. Not project specific. Okay. I see what you're saying. So, so where is the stair? I'm confused now. These are the stairs. They're full. They're full. Thirty-four um, and a half foot steps. Oh, but there's only two of them. There's not a whole flight of them. Like correct. On, I see. That's correct. There's just two. I steps. didn't. I didn't even uh, catch that. Mm -hmm. okay. And it means that there's no railing then, right? It's not tall enough for a to require a railing. Um, there is going to be railing there, even though it's not required, um, just for aesthetics. Um, we're going to have um, just guardrail, not a grab rail, uh, because that's not required. Mm -hmm. yeah. So there are one, two, three, three steps, right? Two steps, three risers. Okay. Yeah, all right. Yeah, that's what I meant. Three risers. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay, so no, we I'm haven't sure. seen the plan. This is, uh, it looks good. I haven't seen the other drawing. But, but it I'm wasn't curious. in this in middle. Louisa, I'm curious because in the picture, it shows lawn going right up to it, right? Yes. To the existing deck. And in the plan, the new plan, there's a whole bunch of paving. Um, well, there's gonna be landscaping done, you know, I'm assuming after uh, we finish our project. Could you go back to that uh, drawing? The, the, the one that shows the whole the extent of the yeah. deck and patio and yeah. This, I, I'm sorry, this is just a concept. This is just a concept. Please don't, don't look at the patio. That's nothing to do with what we're doing. I'm, I'm oh. sorry if I confused the issue with the patio. Um, I, I have nothing to do with that. I don't, I don't know. We're just building the deck and the pergola. Uh, uh -huh. Okay, so we're just approving here the deck and the pergola. And, uh, and if they want to build the patio, they understand they'll need to come back for that. Right, right. Or they may or may not. I don't know how big it is and so forth. But right, it depends up, on the cost and everything. Yeah. 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 It looks like they'll okay. need to come back. But yeah, probably. So the wood, the wood is going to match existing. Yeah, because it's matching the, uh, it's, it's a continuation it's actually, of the deck. Uh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, and you were saying the, um, uh, the pergola. Pergola is also the wood's going to be just matching the deck as well? Yes, yes. Or, these, these four by fours get sleeves that match the railings on the deck. Okay, yeah, all right. 
Yeah, it's that section one is a little misleading. That's why. I would, yeah, I totally I mean, agree. But it's okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That was. I, I didn't even notice it here. It's yeah. Because like, there yeah, had been this there before. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Hmm. Okay, so all we are looking is the deck with the. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Okay, and the pergola. Yes. Okay. And I guess there's a, the railings, I guess, are at each, one at each end of the deck, nothing in the middle. Uh, yeah, well, we're, you know, whatever is here is remaining. We're not touching that. Um, so we're just going to have rail um, right here where the pergola is. Okay. And then this is, the rest uh -huh. of this is house over here. The and house, yeah. Stairs, yes. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's just uh -huh. rail here. And then up these stairs. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Got it. Okay. I don't know if there's anything else I can um, show you to help. Um, no. I do have pictures, um, more pictures okay. of the back of the house. I, I don't know if that would help, if anybody would like to see them. One picture you had, I noticed in your package that might be helpful if it's easy for you to put up is there's a picture from the back of the house that shows the neighbors to the back. So you can, so we can see the uh -huh. distance. I know you had that picture. I mean, it looked fine. Uh, but. Well, this is this is where it's going right here. Um, now we still see the plan. Oh, okay. Do you see a picture? No. No. You're looking for the plan? No, he's looking for the picture of the, there's a picture of the neighbor's houses to the rear. Okay. Um, there were a lot of pictures, so. It was one looking away from where the deck is toward the neighbors. Mm -hmm. The point of it is the only reason I wanted to show it is the neighbors are fairly far set back and it's not, mm -hmm. not near the neighbors. That's all I was gonna. Point out since it's a yeah. Huge <clears throat> mm. This one. Hmm? It's uh, down to the down backyard neighbors one, I think, down at the bottom. Keep going. Yeah, down that there. shows the there. fence. I think. Yeah, um, that. So you can see that the neighbors are not going to be overly burdened by this. That was that was a lot of effort just to make that little point, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good point. Point taken. <laughs> Seems fine to me. Yeah, I think it's reasonably straightforward. Section was a little confusing, but we got mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. I am sorry. This is my first BAR meeting, so I'll do better next time. Okay. <laughs> All right. Were there any other comments okay. or questions from the board? No. Any Not audience, participants, neighbors, or anybody with any questions or comments or input? I think it will look better without the, the guardrail or railing. Yeah. It opens up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amber, yeah, so. anybody in the audience, Amber? I do not see anyone who indicates that they wish to speak. Okay. In that case, um, there's no more questions or comments, I guess. We, we have a motion to vote on it. I motion. Okay, and we're seconded. And uh, anybody opposed? All right. No. Okay, thank you, Morris. You're you're good to go. Okay, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Have a okay. good evening, thank everyone. You, you too. too. Thank you. you too. Thank you. Okay. Um. So I guess um, uh, 
No, Amber, you said that the other uh, that the Phillips Park guy had the had was ready, but I guess we should we'll, we'll continue on anyway with the other people and then circle back to him, I guess. So let's uh, uh, go on then to uh, thirteen ten Sunnyside Avenue. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. I don't know if you could see me. No, it's just no. A, a red box with a white V. Oh, okay, hang on. Let's see. <laughs> now you have. Now we can see you. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Let me see if I could share my screen now. Okay. Could you also uh, also introduce yourself and? Yes. And you appear to be sharing your screen now. We see the coaster residents. Yeah, oh, okay. Can. Wonderful. Uh, Virginia Picciato with Marcella Architects. Mm -hmm. Okay, and are you representing them? Or are they here as well? The, uh, I don't know if they joined the meeting, but I am representing the homeowners. Okay, well, if they are here, I would just ask that they they join so that if they have anything to add or something, we don't have to go through a signing them in and all and everything at the time. Okay. <laughs> they don't have to say anything if they don't want, but just, you know, if they could join. Okay, so uh, the Costa residence is at uh, is on Sunnyside Avenue. It is in the R5 district, and that's right off of Boston Post Road. The site is located, the back of the site is adjacent to the Beaver Swamp Brook. Let me just get to some photos, which runs along the back. The site is approximately 50 feet wide in the front, 73 approximately in the back and about 100 feet deep. Uh, this is the existing residence. And the existing home, just get to the existing. The existing home is very small. It is approximately 500 square feet of livable area on the first floor, consisting of the living room, dining room, and a very small kitchen and a front porch. The second floor is a two bedroom, uh, two bedrooms and a bathroom. So it's a very small home and the, they, the their homeowner actually has lived here his whole life and he was hoping to renovate it for his family. He's been here 42 years. Mm. Okay, let me just see if I can get to, the livable area of the existing home is about a little over a thousand square feet. So they're hoping to just get a little bit more space, get that extra bedroom as they have two children and they would like to add a master suite. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna go to some of the photos. This is the front of the home. The site slopes back towards the brook approximately eight to nine feet. Here's the rear of the home and there's an existing deck that they're looking to remove and an existing uh, structure to the side. The proposal is to add a two-story addition, uh, pretty much keeping a lot of the uh, first floor, existing first floor, still having the dining room in the back, the living room in the front, converting that mm -hmm. front porch into an entry area and a study and then expanding the kitchen out to the right and adding a family room. On the second floor, they are looking to renovate the existing bathroom, which was a hall bath, and add a matter, master suite with walk-in closets and a bathroom. Mm -hmm. In the mm -hmm. rear of the home, they are also looking to put a new deck down to a uh, grade. They're about eight feet above grade level in the back. So 
So the intent with the design was to keep the original gable in the front of the house, maintaining the uh, existing ridge. So a good portion of this uh, side of the home is in keeping with the existing, except in closing that front porch, uh, mm -hmm. extending from that existing pitch a new uh, higher gable and adding about 14 feet of addition to the right side where they have room. We uh, look to keep the existing ridge running across the lower first story uh, roof line, carrying that through and carrying the profile of the existing home. This is the left side that will remain intact. And here's the proposal for the, uh, the addition. So, yeah, so. Mm -hmm. uh, the rear of the home would have a deck and uh, sliding doors out and down and the master edition would uh, be gabled out in the back of the home. The existing, this is the existing roof area. And we try to, because it's so high out of the ground, we were trying to bring down the roof line by carrying that one, uh, that lower roof level, wrapping it around the back of the home. The materials that they are looking to do is the existing house originally what I had submitted, submitted to the board was a hardy board, but the homeowner has decided that they'd like to go with a cedar siding. Uh, so that is the change that you're seeing here. So they are looking at a cedar siding for the house, which would be um, a Maybach shingle in this finish. Uh, it's like a light gray finish. An Anderson A-series window with a, uh, I believe it's called, it's a light gray or Dove gray is the, the uh, finish, exterior finish, and a timberline shingle roof in a mission brown finish. And let's see if there was anything else. The uh, square footage of the home would increase from, uh, it, it's a, right now existing, it's the livable area is a little over a thousand square feet for the first and second floor. And the proposal is to get to, uh, I believe with the basement included in that, it's about 2,900 square feet. What, what's happening in that additional higher part that has a little window in it? Um, uh, it's, it's actually attic area. I'm sorry, let me go back to that. It's actually mm -hmm. in the attic area. So they will get a little bit more attic space possibly to house a, uh, mechanical unit, but there's, it's not, uh, it's actually not that high across the majority of the house that it actually can be usable space. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is the roof uh, over the, um, on the right, the little, it's a, it's a metal, it looks like metal. Yes, this um, area yeah. uh -huh. here and at the entry. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, that would be a painted metal roof, uh, yeah. a dark, a dark gray metal roof. Uh -huh. Okay. Could you flip over then to the uh, site plan? Yes. I'm going to zoom in a little bit because it's a little far. Mm -hmm. okay. So this is the area of the existing home. Mm -hmm. And this is the area of the addition. Mm -hmm. So I, I assume that the primary parking is going to be there in on the front right side of the house. It's a little tight to squeeze past the house, but I guess you're showing some cars. So ancillary parking in the back, is that the thing? Yes. Yeah. yeah. There's room to get by? Uh, it's about How nine to 10 feet. Oh, okay. It looks, yeah, it looks a bit small. It said eight feet, but that's the setback. Eight feet is the actual setback line, the side yard setback. Mm -hmm. That's what the eight foot is denoted. Mm -hmm. So it's tight, but uh, yeah, they're, they're not going to routinely be going back there. So right, I don't think. I mean, I think that is more of uh, additional space. They have plenty of uh, space in the front. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm just curious with with paving. 
paving all the way, expanding the footprint of the house and paving back there, the, the impermeable service doesn't increase too much? I think it's uh, we were looking to keep this whole back area because they don't really intend to uh, you use it for anything else. And so it would, we're calling this out area out to be gravel. I see. So from this point back, uh, I think the line kind of faded here, but from this point back, it will be gravel. Got it. Okay. Would you mind going to the front elevation again? Because when I looked at it, I kept thinking that was the addition was in front or, or even with the front of the house, with the original house, but I see it's behind. You want the drawings? I just, want to, I just want to see it, just see the front elevation again. So the existing front of the house ends about here. Mm -hmm. So that gable would, that roof ridge line carries across here. So this section is the addition. You could see here on the side elevation of that, that's that main roof here. And that is the roof line mm -hmm. of the hip folding back. And that is that display in the front. Mm -hmm. And then this project, the entry portico projects from that. Put in and the this plan. Is that existing line of the uh, porch on the other side that we're carrying through over here folding. But in, in the, I'm just, I'm, I'm a little confused. In the plan, because that, that's, that's the new side of the house. Yes. This is in the, the plan, side. isn't isn't that back like several feet from the front of the original house? Uh, this section, the roof line where you're carrying forward, but the this part of the house is back. This facade here is here. And this facade is this plane. Oh, I see. Oh, that's very confusing. So that, that one little section there in that elevation actually is further Back. Further back in the in the perspective perspective. Yes. I see. Oh, however, the roof carries through. So no, I understand that. I understand that. I see. So mm -hmm. that's a corner board, like that. Those two lines coming down are is actually a corner board or something. Um, I actually think that that's just the line of the structure beyond that we're showing. So it, it isn't mm -hmm. a corner board because of the now that they're going no, it's siding. Now that they're going with cedar siding, it's not a corner board. I see. Okay, but mm -hmm. that's where that's where that mass ends. Yes, and that has to do with the clearance to the back. Yeah, I understand. It'd be great to pull it forward, you know, in, in oh, an ideal situation, but uh -huh. so trying to keep that existing yeah. line of the porch mm -hmm. and carrying it across was holding that while this mm -hmm. facade pushed back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got it. So the, the walls are going to be that siding, it's like a light, um, that, that color, is it? Yes. Light gray, it's gray or beige? It says or? light gray, it looks like, it almost has like an aged. Is it cedar, it's sort of uh -huh. tan it's and cedar. turns gray? It's a warm gray, very warm. Right. I mean, it's going to age though very quickly. It's going to start out. It starts uh -huh. out sort of tan, and then it sort of turns gray, right? Like, right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the roof you said it's black or dark gray. Uh, it's brown. It, it's oh, brown. brown, brown. Okay. Well, it's a pretty big uh, expansion of the home that you will know, work for the owner. Yeah. It, it makes it livable. They have two children sure. and right now, I just want to go back yeah. to the plan. It makes it, yes. um, the two bedrooms right now are in roof line, other yeah. than the gable, they're, they're very low. So this mm -hmm. gets them that higher ceiling and uh, yeah. master, you know, every, uh, an, you know, an extra bedroom on the second floor. And, and for the first floor. It's proportionally bigger. Mm -hmm. This section here is the addition. Yeah. 
Well, you said it went from 1,100 usable to 2,900, I think, right? Well, 1,100 was the first floor and the second floor. Oh, that okay. wasn't counting the existing basement. So with the basement, that's yeah. another like five, five to 700 square feet. Okay, okay. So, so yeah, the basement. that makes more sense. So it's 16, it's actually 16, uh, almost 1,700 square foot feet existing if you were counting it from a gross floor area, but that would also include the uh, porch, which isn't really livable space and some of the other spaces. Could, could we see the house to the right of it? Because now it's coming closer to the property line, right? The yes. mass of it. Okay, so here is the neighbor to the right. Mm -hmm. okay. This is the neighbor to the left, but this is the side that it's getting closer to. And how close are they to the property line? Um, let me just see if I have. But you you are within the setbacks, right? Yes, yes, it's all zone, okay. zoning compliant. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I okay. believe the you know, neighbor just... to the right. Uh, it's their driveway is to the right. I they. I don't. I can't. I no, don't I know the dimension yeah. off the top well, of my okay. head. Also, I think the setbacks in this area are, are small. Um, yeah, they're tight lots in the R5 district. Yeah, R5, yeah. Yes. I think it looks fine. Yeah. I mean, I think you did a good job giving them uh, mm -hmm. workable. It's a nice home. Yeah. They get, like, yeah, like you say, three bedrooms. I like what you did with the roof, like the... Uh, the left, the the side, the left side, and then the new re, uh, right side kind of mimics has the same profile. That makes it more coherent right, to right, me. Right. I think it looks good, and I like the fact that you left the the original front gable and work with it and try to engage the uh, the addition to it. I, I think, think if we job. took anything, if we took took that off the existing on the front that at that point we were almost looking at a new house <laughs> yeah was, yeah yeah it was like, we had to yeah. keep something there that in the porch kind sure. of kept the character of the house mm -hmm. in the neighborhood so that was the yeah. yeah yeah that's a clever plan yeah yeah looks good oh and just to go the the deck that they are looking to put in the back will be a trex uh, mm -hmm. deck Okay. And, I, and the, they are looking at a white color on that deck, not the, the decking, the, the railing. Now the, the deck, this, this is going to go, uh, um, along with the, uh, the house right now, right? It's included yes. in the- Yes, it's okay. part of the same uh, application. Okay. Yes, otherwise and, the doors, uh, they're about eight to nine feet out of the uh, ground in the back. So uh -huh. to phase it, it would be, uh, they'd still have to create some kind of landing and staircase down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Put the sliders right. in. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's quite the, so the, the basement, is it full height basement? Uh, or? The basement is uh, a crawl space in the front portion. There, right. And then uh, there's one space back here that gets added as usable space. Okay. All right. And the existing is also? Uh, the existing back here is a finished yeah. room. Uh, yeah. The rest of it, uh, there is a bathroom. The, and this area up front is all, the mechanicals are kind of spread out, not completely yeah. closed in this room. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does, that, does that brook flood? You know what? I asked the homeowner if they've ever seen the brook flood, and that for 42 years, it's never flooded. Well, aren't they lucky? I'm so <laughs> exactly. surprised. I'm not aware of that brook, I have to say. Mm. But just looking mm. it up online, I mean, it's, it seems quite long. And, mm. you know, it crosses, so it, it crosses underneath Boston Post Road right oh. at the light of, of where the CVS is. Right. Where, okay. Where uh -huh. Harrison comes down into Boston Post Road and becomes the Parkway, mm -hmm. it crosses right underneath there and then goes out into the bay. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. And their house is up high there. So even if it oh. flooded, like they're still yeah, up way up above it. It's actually never breached, but even if so, their first floor is about nine, 10 feet above that elevation. Yeah. That is good for them. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. any, anyway, any more um, questions or comments on the application from the board? No. No. Okay. No. I'm good. How about from the uh, audience? Uh, Amber, anybody wish to speak? So we did receive some questions from an anonymous attendee. Are the windows different sizes on the left and right side of the home? And what are the three squares below the windows on the right side of the home? Okay, okay. The, um, I'm sorry, the first question was that were the windows the same size on the left right side. and left side of the home? Yeah. Um, some of the windows are, these are, I'm just checking the size. These windows are the same. Uh, this is different. This is a kitchen window, so it's a shorter window, wider. This is the one existing window that the homeowners are looking to keep this bay. Um, they clarify uh, looking at the front elevation. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, 24, 2446. These are the same windows. Obviously, the picture window is different. Right. These windows are the same width. They are down, uh, I believe, six inches from, I think they're this height. They're this height, but this width, because that is a, ma uh, a bathroom beyond the master bath. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the other question was on the, the panels. These are, um, the trim on the house is going to be Azac painted the same color as the windows the exterior of the windows and this these panels would be uh, an AZAC panel, which would look, uh, let me just see if I have something that could give you a better uh, indication of what those look like. So this is the trim color that they're looking to go with to match the windows. Uh, it would basically feel like a, a panel if this wasn't glass in set on these three. rather than the siding. What is the purpose of the panel now that we're talking about it? Um, it's actually it's actually pretty common in a lot of houses. It, it kind of breaks up the, uh, the cedar siding plus and I think on this house the uh, there was a, a strong desire from the homeowner to have some degree of a tower. And I didn't think that we were gonna really get a tower on this house, but it emphasized the verticality of the new element here. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't, I don't have any further comments from anyone in. All right. So any, anything else from the board and follow up or any questions? Mm -hmm. If not, then can we get a motion to vote? I motion. Okay. Second that. Okay, any opposed? No. Okay, then uh, thank you, Virginia. Yeah. And uh, you're uh, approved then, I guess. Thank you. They will be very happy to hear this. Okay. <laughs> Have a good evening. Good okay. Luck. Thank you. Yeah. Enjoy. Yeah. Okay. And that gets to um, 830. Orienta. Orienta. What's the address again? 839 Orienta Avenue. Correct. If you could please raise your hand so we can promote you to panelists. If you are with the applicant team. Dean Davis to all panelists, I am here. It's Dean Davis, the applicant for 839? Or? Yes, promoting to panelists. Mm -hmm.
There it goes. There he is. <laughs> okay. Good evening. Um, my name is Dean Davis. I'm the architect for number 839 Orienta for the Sandlers. The Sandlers are not here tonight, and I'll be um, the only person representing the uh, uh, design. Okay, thank you for that. Good. So, um, Amber, I was going to wonder if you could help us. We don't, I can't really get up on putting the images up, but I, I was going to suggest if you could, maybe we, we would just start with the photographs and I'll just talk about the various parts of this house. It's actually, it's very simple. This is uh, basically an outside a terrace, which is an elevated terrace over uh, attached to the house. And uh, the uh, terrace is in the backyard and the backyard is spacious and really surrounded by trees with a swimming pool in the back. And the, the project is really to just cover the terrace with a roof, part of the terrace, I would say, substantial part of it. The reason for that for the Sandlers is that- um, Why don't you hang on one second there, Dean, and let sure. me get the pictures up so we can see what you're talking about as you're talking about it. Great. You want the photo? Some middle? They're about mid halfway down, maybe? It says photos. Right. That was the sign, yeah. 839 photos, it says there. Oh, well. well it's good to start here anyway. We could start with this drawing. And this actually yeah. is probably the most il il illustrious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> illustrated. Yeah. Uh, all right. So the, um, the house is an English tutor. We're looking at the rear of it. Uh, and this faces a yard. If you look at the site plan in the lower left-hand corner, uh, you'll see the uh, orientation Orienta Avenue and then Grecian Point Road traveling on the right side of the, the house. The house, um, you know, obviously the front is on Orienta and the backyard though is, is a pretty large backyard, swimming pool in it. And as I mentioned earlier, you'll see that the yard is pretty much very heavily uh, planted out with trees and bushes, et cetera, on the perimeter. So it makes a very nice lawn panel there that the terrace uh, looks out on. Uh, now, the terrace is a stone terrace and I actually you know, designed that for them about 20 years ago, along with the um, addition on the right-hand side, which is the large uh, Tudor uh, timbered uh, addition there, which is a family room with a bedroom above that we added to the house literally 20 years ago. So uh, they've come back to me and asked me, well, you know, we, we love the uh, use of the terrace and the family room that's right off of it now, but we find in the summertime and they do spend their summers there that it is hot back there with the sun uh, that they wanted shade. They found that they would, uh, because the house is stucco and the terrace is stone, they just felt that it was very uncomfortable out there and they felt that getting the shade of a covered portion of it would uh, really enable them to utilize it quite a bit. So in the, the plan that you see to the right of the site plan, there is, uh, you see the terrace plan and a proposed you know, layout of how they would utilize it with the seating areas and dining areas. Mm -hmm. And um, that sort of gives its orientation to the various spaces that we have. And the right side is the family room, the kitchen uh, has windows out onto the terrace, the dining room has French doors out onto the terrace and then to the left uh, is a, a sunroom as well. So the, um, the, you know, there's everything orients around this for their, uh, you know, outside uh, you know, summertime usage. The two stairways you see going down, they go down to a basement, which is partially developed, but uh, it is, uh, you know, they, they were just existing and the terrace sort of nestled in between them. On the upper left side of the drawings, you see an elevation, which is a side elevation. Here you see the large roof beyond of the, um, the, the family room addition that was done, as I said, a while ago. And the roof that I'm proposing here is very low pitched. It would be a standing seam copper roof. Uh, and it is um, in, uh, it matches the standing seam copper roofs that they have over the sunroom and others in that rear, uh, what we call the, uh, the the left you know, rear elevation there, um, there is, a, it, it's showing uh, some existing standing seam copper that they have on some other uh, additions that were done years ago to the house. Uh, and so I'm proposing a, a relatively you know, flat roof. It's, I think it's a two and 12 pitch on it. 
and uh, and then really just doing you know uh, timber beams uh, on the underside of it with timber posts on the outside that would match the timbering that is um, in the uh, in the large uh, gable end that you see there they would be painted uh, to match and the copper obviously would be left to uh, you know uh, gain its natural patina from exposure. There really is no uh, internal work here. It's all exterior and it's a, it's a very straightforward roof. Uh, and it's really not visible to any neighbors uh, there. And it, it really provides a wonderful benefit to the um, homeowners as far as them being able to enjoy their outside space a lot more. So if you want to uh, go to photographs at that point, this, this, uh, this drawing actually, A1, is the one that really shows the elevations and the plans. The other, A2 and A3, really are you know, getting into like construction drawings, stuff, sections, uh, framing plans, et cetera, uh, which uh, you know, may or may not be interesting to you. Uh, the uh, photographs might be helpful if they can if you can get those up. You can pull those up, Amber. I think they're down there, down about halfway down. Not quite, nope, halfway, a little one up. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so here are the, this is really, you know, the, the rear of the house and you're looking at it from the, the various angles there. And I've sort of explained the drawing of the, the large gable end and you can see the terrace and the, uh, you know, which is, has a stone seat wall around it. The stone wall sits about 18 inches above the actual elevated terrace level where it's above the yard by, I think, three risers. Um, mm -hmm. So those are, that's it. And you can see the, the it's a slate roof, a uh, beautiful house. Uh, and the timbering is uh, recalled in this elevation here. It's also on the front elevation facing Orienta. So it was really sort of carrying that same language to the rear of the house. In, with that design and uh, the copper, there are copper gutters and copper roofs on the house already. So we're just staying with that. And as I said, the timber is gonna be the same color painted as the timbering on the main house. There's really, there is some stucco on the side of the proposed roof that would be painted like the stucco of the main house. And, but other than that though, it's uh, really just copper and painted wood. So, and we can look at the other uh, photographs which show the terrace and the old, and the backyard more. So here you see, you know, the terrace mm -hmm. there looking out to the back and you see a pool in the back and you can see how heavily planted out the perimeter is of the property. So it's very mm -hmm. private back there. And it's, um, as I said, this is really just gonna provide shade and, 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 the, and openness. We, we added, uh, I am proposing one large skylight there, which again, you can see in the plans, but back to that, but that's sort of uh, right out in front of the kitchen windows there that look out to flood, flood light into that area that uh, so as not to bring in you know, too mm -hmm. much shadow into the, uh, to, into the interior. Mm -hmm. I have a, a simple question, but uh, when you look at the rear side elevation of the, um, uh, I don't know what page is it, first page, a1. And the roof, yeah, okay. And you look at the, let me see, which you say it's going to be stucco on the side of the roof of the, yes. right? Yes. On your roof. I just wonder, wh why is that angle, sharp angle going into the facade? Why doesn't it continue? I might not be seeing something here. Do you think you could put the A1 no. plan back up? Uh, that would be, yeah, right there. I think it's in the middle. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah, so the sharp the, angle, what happens uh -huh. there, what happens there is the roof uh, extends in, you know, it, it's low pitched and it tucks in underneath the windows on the second floor, which you see the, the new copper. Right, yes. But on uh -huh. the far left, and I think this is what you're talking about, that sharp angle that goes up. What happens yes. is there is a bit of roof of the main house that comes down and, and projects through that addition on the left. That's a second story addition on the left. 
that mm. I have to I have to deal with. And so the, roof, ah. the copper roof would go into that, but then go at the sharp angle following the roof of the, you know, the, the high roof that you see on the left in the, the left elevation there um, in the top left corner, that, that roof projects through and the two roofs join there. So it's a, it's mm -hmm. a, you know, it's a detail that just had to be handled that way, I think. Yeah, oh, okay, because that, that was a little weird. But I didn't know, I yeah. didn't, you, you know, I didn't know. Can yeah. you expand right. that section just, it's just still so small to see. Yeah, there you go, it's better. Yeah, so you see the roof project coming down on the, the high, you know, steep pitch roof on the left, mm -hmm. traveling down, that roof actually goes through. Yeah, I see it, I see yeah. it, yes. I, yeah, I will, okay. uh, yeah, we, okay. we do it. It just looks yeah. funny, yes. No, it's a little different thing. <laughs> yeah, I think the skylight is it's good. I like the idea that it gives more, brings more light to the kitchen and that whole area is going to be nice and with all the defined uh, uses that you uh, yeah. show. So that looks good. Yeah, they think they'll get a lot more use of the terrace, whereas they were hiding sure. umbrellas and, you know, this will really yeah. open it up for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you said that the new roof is copper, copper metal. Okay. That's correct, yeah. Oh, is it copper or metal? Yes, copper That'd roof? Copper. Yeah, copper, okay. shiny copper when it's installed. And okay. then of course it, it uh, okay. turns a dark brown. Yeah. Yeah, uh, okay, you'll, uh, you'll get it. You'll get it to wear yes. winterize. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Mm -hmm. And the railing, you say it keeps stays the same, existing steel guard rail. Okay. Yes, those railings are all existing. Uh, they will remain. The stone will remain too. The, mm. the actual structure on this is is actually steel posts that were cladding with uh, ASAC uh. to to you know give some beef to them. But because of the uplift with wind, etc., it has a steel beam that goes across, ties into steel posts, which are buried into the stone walls, and mm -hmm. everything is restored. But it's mm -hmm. it's very strong, very strong. Okay. Yeah, okay. very nice. Very usable space for the for the homeowners. Good, thank you. Okay. So, are there any uh, other questions, or uh, anybody from the audience who has any questions or comments, Amber? I do not see anyone who wishes to speak. All right. So, if nobody has anything more on the board, then could I get a motion to? To vote. I motion. I'll second. Okay. Any opposed? No. All right. Very good. Thank you, Dean. And uh, thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Good luck. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Recall that house has a really beautiful tree in the front, big sycamore tree. Mm. It's a pretty house. Yeah. So we're back mm -hmm. then to uh, uh, Phillips Park Road. Um, mm -hmm. okay. Oh yeah. Hi, everybody. I apologize. Hello. Uh, some well, uh, day this will be over. <laughs> <laughs> my God. So <laughs> I'm going to try to share my screen again, but if not, Amber is my emergency here who has gotten the, uh, I guess, received the, the renderings that were, we wanted to present tonight for uh, Phyllis Park Road anyway. So, okay. Let me try this again. Um, and sorry, so just to be clear, these are these are different from what you've submitted okay. before today. Oh, okay. These, these are uh, the new ones. This is the new one. Yeah, these are new ones. Yeah. I don't know which one you received, Amber, but um, I think accidentally you received the original ones. Um, can you see this screen? 
for now. So I, if they have not been posted publicly, I'm not, I'm not certain if the board would be able to vote on this tonight if these. I had submitted the uh, elevations in, in architectural plan. Did you receive those as part of the package? Or? I did receive the plans. Yeah, I don't think renderings are required, are they? I mean, it's not kind of uncommon that people have shown up with a building model or a rendering or something at the... Uh... Isn't the modification here, though, a, a, a materials one? So the renderings are the... Yeah, but the, if, he's got, well, it's, if he's got drawings um, and plans, I mean... Yeah, those are those were submitted, right? Well, how about we do this then? Well, um, can you see the screen now at all? Or? Yes, but then let's look at the uh, yes. Look at this. Look at this. Thank and let's you. look at the plans and elevations um, since these are already up here, and then we can decide if the uh, if you know where we are from there. Okay. Well, let's. Uh, if you can see this, this is the uh, revised front elevation mm -hmm. in, a render, in the rendering. Okay, so we replaced some of this uh, uh, brick with stucco. Uh, again, the, the purpose of it, it was that we thought the brick uh, was really too heavy. Uh, the the building across the street is all stucco and there's a lot of stucco around us. So we decided to light and mix it up with some more brick and stucco. Uh, the ground floor elevation, again, doesn't change. That's uh, precast concrete panels and the stucco would match that. Uh, we're not sure if it's going to be actual stucco or, or an EFIS, uh, but it would be a, almost white or very light. Uh, color. Uh, the brick would still be there, obviously. Um, uh, this is sort of the, this is the elevation um, from the opposite side, uh, looking at the other exposed elevation, where we'd mix up the stucco and the brick, stucco and brick on this elevation as well. Uh, so that's that's pretty much the change. The building envelope, the building size, the volume, the massing hasn't changed or the window location or balconies, everything's the same. It's just the change in uh, some of the materials themselves. So. Is it the same? Because it looks like the roof terrace is different. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say the same. There is a continuous uh, parapet or, yeah, mm -hmm. versus- Yeah, the there, there are, the uh, unfortunately, these are, where, where we have the, um, the balconies, these do extend up and there are open railings. This is not continuous on top, that's not correct. But there right. still are sections of open railing on top on the brick on the upper level because it is a, a roof garden on top, mm -hmm. um, which will be maintained. So uh, you're saying- So will the sections, look at look at the, um, I'm sorry, I forgot. The original one. The original, what was, what yeah. Was your name? I know, let's show the original together so we can yeah. compare. I'm looking at one, but yeah. Okay. 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 That's good. Yeah. yeah. So the things, so. the parts that are solid, which are over the stairwells, what material will they be? They're going to be, those are going to be railings. They're not correct in the rendering. Those are uh, the okay. railings, as you yeah. see on the original building. Yeah. Yes. No, I, Sorry. Because no, that's the part over this, over the balcony. The part the over the balcony, the balcony. They're, yeah. they're going to be flipped in essence. In other words, this section over the balcony is not going to be a railing. This is going to be a railing. This will be solid in between. So yeah, on, yeah, the, yeah. on the new solid. elevation, got it, got it, got it. Oh. these will be railings. This will be a railing on the upper top wow. and around the corner wow. as well. Yeah. And all is better. Like stucco. Yes. Yes. It'll be scored. There'll be score lines in it. Obviously, to give some uh, dimension to it. Um. Uh, um, can you can you flip to look at the old rendering again? Just see they're layered. Uh, it looks like the windows have changed, right? Uh, In the we new added... facade, the windows are equal. Uh, yes. Yeah. How that happened? Or is that just yeah? We did add. You know what happened is we shifted the balcony over. This is the living room in this area. I'm sorry. This is the living room in this area. So we shifted the balcony to the right hand side rather than the left. So we put equal windows in front, which I think actually looks better than the original. The, the, the side is different too. There's three indents and now there's only two. Correct. Yes. 
So this is more than an exterior modification. The plans of the actual insides have changed. Uh, not the layout, just the location of the balconies themselves. It's the only change. Okay, well, let's, mm -hmm. let's look at the plans and, and elevations and all. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Let's see if I can bring that up. And that's my problem bringing those up. Okay. <laughs> um, that, that construction is already done, though, right? About where the windows are in the balconies. It is. Uh, there it is in the photograph. Correct. Yeah. So that was already approved by the building department, I guess? It was, yes. Yeah. Yeah, this is the approved plan from the building department. So, but, Where's uh, the whole back half? I'm sorry? The whole back half, it doesn't exist yet. There's that. Mm. The back of the building? Yeah, like when you look at that, at the picture, mm -hmm. it looks like it's about 12 feet deep. But in oh, the yeah, no, it's it, much bigger. It's a, it's a weird angle with me. Uh, oh. That doesn't help us. Yeah. You know. Well, mm. okay. Yeah, it's a strange angle, because, you know, because we have that cut because we had the 50 foot setback. We have that cut at that angle. So I guess if the photograph was taken a little more to the right, you'd see the uh, the other step of the building itself. Mm. It's weird. Could you move the photo to the left, the left photo to the left a little bit so we can see more the, the, the rendering and the reel on the construction? Mm -hmm. Yeah, leave that one on the right and bring Bring the left, yeah, like that. I wanted to, yes. All right. So uh, I'm mm, not seeing, am I, also, am I, am I, I'm confused also. now. <laughs> I don't see that there's any opening for the railings about there. Uh, am I? No, they, uh, haven't, they haven't been cut out. They just put the uh, sheeting ah, okay. on top okay. at this okay. point. Yeah, okay. right. Okay. To Andrew's question, I think the reason you can't see the building set back is because the front facade seems to have gotten quite a bit longer. There's a yeah. lot of distance from oh, that changed the right too? balcony to the outside. The yeah. TV. And that's why mm. it sticks out more mm. and that's why you can't see the building behind. Yeah, now, now it extends all the way to right above the cutout of the store below, right? It so does. The plans changed? Yep. Did the plans change then? The plans no? haven't changed. I just think the rendering oh. is not correct, well, quite honestly. Ah. <laughs> I, okay. Let's see the plans because I don't see how the plans could not have changed. Um, because this distance, I mean, this facade is longer. You can see that it, you, you can yeah. see what the door yeah. is. And yeah. And a little bit past right. the time, it's like another, maybe 12 yeah. Yeah. It, it is longer. It's not longer from the original plan. Again, I think the elevation, the rendering is not correct. Uh, I uh, unfortunately maybe, can't, yeah, pull up, I can't pull up those plans. Mm -hmm. that's possible. Let's look at the plans because maybe it's the rendering that's not correct. Right. I don't think I can pull up the, the plans, Mr. Chairman. Amber can yes. help us. <laughs> Thanks, Amber. Can Amber help us? I don't know. Yes. I, don't, I don't know if you have the plans, Amber, quite honestly. So. Oh, oh. really? Ah, we we have well, uh, let's see. Hmm. Is in there was the was uh, architectural elevations there or? Yeah, the elevations, Amber, 2921 that you had there. Opening them. Yeah, thank you. No, it's different. So this is what was submitted to me. That's different. Yeah, this, this section here is obviously a little, got filled in this corner. Which is just a hallway on the uh, first and second floor. I mean, the second and third floor in the apartment itself, going out to the terrace. I'm I'm not mm. confused. What you're exactly talking about? Talking about the the Phillips Park Road elevation. Yeah. In other words, it's that brown area oh. now on the right is now actually completely solid. Yeah. Yes. It's not like an L. Right, it extends up like this, correct. So something's been added to the floor plan. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's really quite honestly just the hallway that goes out to the uh, terrace itself. That's all it is. The ghost extended out there, but but it is different, no doubt. It is still a different plan than what it is. Doing. Yes. Okay. We can clarify that if you like. Certainly. I don't. I don't suppose Dennis is on. Is is he, uh, Amber? I, I didn't see him on tonight. Okay. Hmm. Mm. All right, well, we, we seem to have some questions here because it seems to have been built differently than what was approved to begin with. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can correct that and uh, resubmit, certainly, of course. Well, uh, you can't correct. Well, what you have to uh, do is you have to get the, you know, the building inspector to, uh, well, I'm not sure what you do when you build it differently than what was there. I, I think you have to go back and get it. Uh, this is a second application. So if, if it's if it's different again, it sounds like you would need a new application. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, but then, well, I mean, he has an approved plan and he built something different. Right. No, it, it was built according to the approved plans. It's just that the elevation well, is. Well, then this is not the approved plans. Do you have the approved plans? I don't have them available right now. So. so what is this exactly? This is if this is not this is what we approved, right? Is what was submitted. Right. It is. So so something else was approved that we haven't seen. You're saying I, I don't understand what you're saying. I mean the process uh, is you have you submit plans, we approve it, you get a building permit, you build that. But somehow in between what we saw and approved and what got built, something happened. Well, I don't understand. Evidently, that section of the uh, building got longer, which was, I'm not sure why it wasn't on the original plans, but we'll correct that and resubmit. Well, you, well, okay, mm -hmm. what does recorrect that mean? That doesn't mean you, doesn't mean you tear it down, I assume. It means that you have to go back. No, it was, it was approved. We have a building permit for the construction, so we'll, we'll resubmit to the, uh, well, but, okay. board. but you have a building permit for something that we hadn't approved. Is what you're saying? You so you gave you showed up. So you submitted something for us to approve that was different than what you got approved by the building department. Is, is that what you're saying? I, I evidently, evidently it is. Yeah. <laughs> so. All right. All right. Well, that's unconventional. Okay. So I think I think we will need you to submit a what. Your building, and uh, I mean, I mean, we're kind of backtracking now. Um, All right, we'll we'll correct it and resubmit. Not a problem. Thank you. Okay. And Bill, I just want to make sure too that the facade doesn't go up before we get a chance to approve it. I, I'm not actually in favor of it. Um, I I much prefer the old facade. Um, I'm just one vote, but I just want to voice that to make sure that it's on record that. Yeah, well, technically, he shouldn't be building anything. Uh, um, in Correct. Approved plans. So, I mean, that that's a question, Amber, that has to be taken up with the building department. Like, how is something getting built that hasn't been approved? <clears throat> okay. You know, that's. Yeah. I mean, that, that's not actually supposed to work that way. I understand. Yeah. Okay. All right, we'll correct it. I thank you. Okay. Okay. All right, then uh, that'll be Hello? the um, Who is? Yeah. Okay. Mr. Brescia wants to speak. Okay, who's Mr. Brescia? He's the building owner. Okay, again, look, I, I asked at the beginning, I said, if anybody wants to participate who is part of the team or if you're representing, then I want you to sign on up front. You know, I'm I, sorry, I came in late. I'm so sorry. You didn't, you didn't do that. I mean, speak your piece. But, you know, there's a reason I do that. And that's because we've had problems in the past where the person didn't get on. And then there's been arguments while well, I was trying to get on and you didn't let me, on, you know. Right. I'm sorry, Jack. You know, so play better. You guys are not doing too good with the rules here, to be honest with you. All right. I'm sorry. I came on late. 
I just, I'm sorry. Uh, I thought we were in the beginning and I just found out that we were still weren't on. So I just wanted to chime in. I just came on a little while ago, just got back from the office. But if I could just, I just caught on to the tail end of this. The building itself is exactly as per plans that were submitted, 100%. We have not deviated from the plan whatsoever. The renderings that you see are uh, a conceptual rendering. You don't see the side. I just sent Amber a photo of the side via email of the building. You do see the step of the building that you guys are getting a little bit confused about because we, you know, it's the, the, sh the shot of uh, the photo doesn't show the building going out. But now if you take a look at that, you'll see that. But again, to reiterate, we are following the plan as per the sign and seal plans that were submitted. The only reason why we're before the board here are a few architectural changes. We wanted to go from all brick to a brick and stucco warmer look and just kind of modify the rails. Everything else is exactly the same as it was approved before you when we originally came uh, for the BAR approval. Uh, that was the brick facade that you guys see. Now, um, excuse me, Ms. Mr. Brescia, the, the yes. issue that we were having is that uh, the elevations that Mr. Stanzella uh, showed, uh, not, not the renderings, but the elevations, the architectural and elevations are different than what is showing in the photographs. And it's not just a materials thing, but it is the, uh, the length of the facade which has gotten a bay longer, which um, Mr. Stenzella said was due to extending the halls, which would be a different, uh, different plan. I, yeah, I just want to clarify that that, uh, you know, I don't know why that was said because we are on the, obviously the property gets surveyed. We're from uh, the, you know, everything got pinpointed and the building is exactly the size that it was intended to be, the footprint of the building. As a matter of fact, we are I'm not talking about the footprint. I'm not talking about the footprint. We'd be talking about uh, the second floor and up. Yeah, the second floor and up is exactly the way that uh, it was submitted. We're dealing with an existing building. We're, this is not a brand new building. This is an addition alteration. So the second floor is ba it's not like a new construction building. Uh, we just added the second and third floor to it. But if you look at the front, the uh, left and right is exactly the way that you know, uh, dimensional wise, uh, that was submitted to Frank Tabalacci in the building department. We did not alter from that whatsoever. Well, I, I don't know what was submitted to uh, Frank uh, Frank in the building department, but the uh, the drawings that uh, Mr. Stenzella put up and said, and we were told were the drawings that we had approved before are different than what was built. So that's all. Right. We and and and. and so I don't, I don't see that being the case. I mean, it's exactly what. But, well, we, they're not, that's, we, we can only see what we can see. And we, I don't have the plans from before in front of me. I only can go with what I'm told was what we approved and what okay. we approved is different than what we And make sure they're right. Yeah, so like, once we confirm they're right through the building department, we're before this board just to get a sense of, are they inclined, once we get through that and we confirm with Frank Tavalacci and uh, Amber that, this is indeed the plans that were submitted. Okay, we're, uh, we got that clarified. We're before this board for a architectural review of the brick and the stucco. And I just wanna get a sense uh, from you guys, if you guys are okay with this change or not. Uh, you, know, well, I think, you guys prefer uh, all brick? I mean, we're, we're just before you to warm it up a little bit and do a, a couple of little you know, uh, revisions to it, modifications, but if you guys feel that you like the old brick building, I'm just looking to find out what your sense of, you know, uh, your feelings are with that. I, I have a suggestion that maybe it would be helpful for us to have the one, the elevation we approved and the new one you're proposing. Also, because for instance, the, this drawings as uh, Robert is saying, do not reflect exactly what your guys are planning on doing, like the railing on the, on the terrace, on the upper level, is not shown, showing railings. All those okay. things have an effect on the way it looks. Mm -hmm. So, and I think it would be helpful for us to be able to have all those elements and look side by side. Yeah. And, so that's, an, you know. that's, an, that's another clarification. We're before the sport because I personally wanted to remove the top 
railings. It's a little high up there. I felt that, you know, it was, uh, they're not required. So I mean, I wanted to leave that as full, but the lower level ones on the second floor will have railings uh, around uh, as shown. So again, brick stucco railings are the only things that were revised from the original approval. That's the only thing. Oh, that's, but board. that's not correct because the windows have changed. September. The, the yeah. windows completely changed where they're located. From the, window, the elevation. Yeah, that was that was an oversight, I think, with the living room. Uh, when we we're actually building it, we saw that that was it. Yeah, I mean that was an oversight. So, so, so I should, think I think what we, I think what Andrew is is saying, and this, this, those are the original saying, plans that that are before you. Those are the ones that got approved. These are the plans uh, that Amber uh, is putting up right now that uh, were approved by the building department. Okay, so we'll make the revisions necessary and we'll get back to you. Appreciate your time. Okay, thanks. And just to be clear on it, can we, Amber or Barbara and Barbara, I'd like to see the drawings that I stamped. Yeah, I have a copy of those as well, so I can. Makes sense. Yeah. With the stamp on them, obviously. <laughs> okay. And thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. And, and Thank you. And Mr. Thank you. Resha, I think that what we would like to see in, in general, assuming yes. this is all straightened out and as you see, and it's just a communication issue, and that we're just talking about uh, a perceived change in um, um, finishes and, and, and railing design and so forth, <laughs> then I think that what we will need to say is, is a, as a whole, this is what it will look like. Not it'll look like not it'll look like this, except for that this isn't right. It's really going to be railing. Oh, and this right, right, right. Okay. Right, is really this way now, and right. this window got moved. I mean, you know, then you're asking us to put it all together, and it just comes down to do we like brick or do we like stucco? And who knows? It depends right. on the context. I understand. Okay, we'll we'll get that revised to you, uh, so that it all matches up. Uh, I think Rob, what they're saying is they really want to depend more on your architectural. They need to do a conceptual. Yes, understood. Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll we'll, we'll get that. Uh, Thank you. Me. Thank you. Good evening. All right. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you guys. Bye. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Um, you guys want to then hang on just for a couple more minutes, just to, mm -hmm. and then uh, meanwhile, can we? Uh, I guess we can adjourn this movement. There isn't anybody else who wants, there's a, let's say, chat here. Um, sorry. Was there anyone else that wanted a comment from the public? There's one person, J.A. Johnson. Yeah, yeah, there is a person. Uh, there's somebody who wanted to know how many units. Uh, okay. Um, Which Dominic is still here, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So somebody from the audience is asking how many units? Uh, there will be six residential units and one commercial space, uh, all parking on site and, uh, you know, small units, uh, elevator, uh, stairwell. That's a very modest, modest, you know, uh, size, but they're about 950 square feet uh, per apartment. Right. And it's, uh, what, two units of floor, I guess? Uh, three units of floor, yeah. Floor. Yep, and then all lower level is, uh, you know, the lobby with the parking area and mechanical room and uh, and storage areas and garbage area, etc. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. well, I, I hope that answered the question of the anonymous attendee. Um, I can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. thank right. you. I appreciate it. Good night. Okay. Good night. Okay. Um, so I guess that's all the business. So can we have a motion to adjourn? I motion. Second. Somebody. Second. Okay. Um, <laughs> Second. Yes. Okay. So we're adjourned, and uh, Amber, you can turn off the recording. Wait one moment.